Hi my dear students welcome to study of science myself pramya so in the previous session we have understood about a cell organelle called endoplasmic reticulum so in this session now let us continue to understand the next cell organelle that is a vacuole then what is a vacuole a vacuole is also a membrane bound organelle i repeat a vacuole is also a membrane bound organelle see when we look at the nucleus nucleus was bounded by two membrane but the vacuole is bounded by single membrane i repeat vacuole is also a membrane bound organelle but it is bounded by single membrane then what is the function of vacuole see vacuole stores the things vacuole stores the things it stores both the solid and the liquid things okay vacuole store the things and it also stores both the solid and the liquid things hence it is called as storage sac vacuole is called as storage sac okay so what is a vacuole vacuole is a membrane bound organelle how many membrane it is bounded by it is bounded by single membrane and what is the function of vacuole vacuole stores the things hence it is called as storage sac okay so now let's understand what is the difference about the vacuole in plant cell and animal cell see vacuoles are present both in the plant cell as well as in the animal cell i repeat vacuoles are present in both the plant cell and animal cell children see in the plant cell the vacuole size is very large but in the animal cell it is small sometimes it is not present but in very rare cases it is present it depends upon the cell if cell requires a vacuole then there is presence of vacuole in the animal cell but in the plant cell vacuoles are present okay now let's understand how the vacuole look or what is the function of vacuoles in plant cell as well as in the animal cell now let me start with the animal cell so when i talk about the vacuoles in the animal cell vacuoles are smaller in size vacuoles are smaller in size in the animal cells and they are temporary vacuoles are temporary if the animal cell require vacuoles then there will be what is that formation of vacuole in the animal cell or is it will be absent hence it is temporary the vacuoles are temporary in the animal cell then if the vacuoles are present in the animal cell what is its function as we already know vacuoles are called as the storage sac vacuoles stores glucose glycogen and the proteins in the animal cell i repeat vacuoles stores the glucose glycogen and the proteins in the animal cell clear so this is about the vacuoles in animal cell so when i talk about the vacuoles in the plant cell the vacuoles are very big or larger in size in the plant cell and they are distinctly visible we can clearly see the vacuoles which are present in the plant cell when we observe under the microscope that is the electron microscope okay and as we have come to know that the vacuoles are temporary in the animal cell but the vacuoles are permanent they are permanent in the plant cell they are always present in the plant cell and when it comes to the storage part as we know that the vacuoles are called as storage sac right so when it comes to the storage part the vacuole stores the cell sap and what is meant by cell sap what does the cell sap consist of the cell sap consists of amino acids sugars and organic acids i repeat the cell sap consists of amino acids sugar and organic acids so all these are called as cell sap and these cell saps are stored in the vacuole where in the plant cell i repeat in the plant cell the vacuole stores the cell sap so in the mature plant uh, when we look at the size of the vacuole almost the vacuole occupies 50 to 90% of cell volume 
see if you look at this plant cell the plant cell is having the vacuole and the size of the vacuole is so big it occupies almost 50 to 90 percent of space in the plant cell but in the animal cell it does not because as we know that it is temporary and sometimes even though it appears it is very smaller in size clear see what all the things we have studied in this session we have studied about vacuole what is a vacuole it is a membrane bound organelle right how many membranes it is bounded by it is bounded by single membrane correct so then what is the function of vacuole it stores the things it stores both the solid and the liquid things hence we call it as storage stack and we also have understood that the vacuoles which are present in the plant cell how does it look right they look very bigger in size they are distinctly visible and in the plant cell the vacuoles are permanent they are always be seen we can see the vacuoles in the plant cell and when it comes to the storage part in the plant cell the vacuole stores the cell sap correct what is cell sap consists of it consists of amino acids sugar and organic acid so when i talk about the vacuole in animal cell they are very smaller in size correct and they are also temporary when it is required the animal cell forms the vacuole when it forms what happens it stores the proteins glucose and glycogen in the animal cell clear so this is all about the vacuoles children. I hope I made all the things very clear about the vacuoles. If you feel this video is useful you can share with your friends and those who have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that all the videos will reach you as soon as I upload. That's all for this video. I'm signing off. Thank you.